Hello everybody, my name is Christian Charlo. Welcome to our market report. Today we're Thursday, August 29. Today folks, I want to talk to you about uh, a movement that we saw in the financial and telecom sector on the TSX, but also uh, there's possibilities on that movement to actually acquire some positions in the financial sector, especially in our banks, which actually posted strong earnings and also increased their dividend. So for those of you who like to buy stocks that pay dividend, well, today I'm going to show you the few opportunities that you have around the American markets, but also on the Canadian side. So first of all, what's the situation of the market? Situation, technically speaking, markets are able to slightly maintain their gains for the NASDAQ. The Dow Jones, well, we're still in positive territory, even if we're testing that line here. But today, we think that in terms of to be in a buying spree on that rebound that we have in the market, it's not really worth it because here at 166.66 on the SPY, that's actually where we have, if we trace a Fibonacci retracement from that top to that bottom here, that's actually the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. So that means that at this point, we might actually have a pause. So that's why the stocks I'm going to show you are actually stocks that I think are good opportunities to buy, but mostly for those of you who are actually seeking for some stocks that pay good dividend. So, but technically speaking, we think that at this point here, we might have a pause on the market. So it's better to either hold on to your positions that you acquired for the last few days and here being able to take some profit because buying here and actually uh, betting that you're going to make some uh, prop hefty profit until 1681 I think it's actually uh, there are not a lot of stocks that are able to actually uh, give you that 5% uh, potential in, in, uh, two, in two days. Uh, in terms of the TSX, we're staying flat so telecom and financial sector are taking the lead. As I've been telling you, those are stocks that are paying good dividend, that have increased their dividend. So we think because of those of that, there are good opportunities. For instance, in the financial sector, it's a clear bullish cycle. So you have TD, you can actually acquire it either on the TSX. Technically speaking, TD, I think, is the best bank uh, to buy, technically speaking. Also in the US, it's in a clear breakout, so I like that technical pattern. A Royal Bank of Canada, it's also increasing. Even if there's that top here at 65.38, I still think that the stock is getting at the edge of its triangle formation. So if you're getting in right now, you know, you, you might just collect the dividend and the stock eventually, if ever there's a wave of buyers, might easily uh, break that resistance at 65.43. Uh, on, on New York, Royal Bank, it's still neutral, so you can acquire some positions around this area. And uh, if you're in for the short term, I would say put your stop loss at 60.55 to at least reduce your positions if ever uh, the bank, uh, the, the, the stock drops below that support at 60.55. CIBC, it's also a bank that increased its dividend. Uh, technically speaking, CIBC, it's reaching a top. So if you acquire it today, I would say, okay, the stock is keeping its upward trending, getting a little bit late in the movement because the top is at 84.79, but at least you can collect the dividend on, on CIBC. So that's also a good bet and uh, CIBC, CIBC also on New York CM. In terms of the telecom sector, it's also starting a bullish cycle on the Canadian side because Verizon will actually acquire some participa the participation of Vodafone in the Verizon wireless joint venture. So they will pay $100 billion. Uh, they're still negotiating that amount. But this, as few speculators saying that if Verizon is actually talking to Vodafone to actually acquire the participation while well, they're not going to enter into the Canadian market. So which means that the Canadian companies, the f telecom companies, are going to keep the oligopoly and charge uh, Canadian customers more for cell phones. So that's why the telecom sector is starting a bullish cycle. Even if it has a resistance, there's still some good bets though. Telescorp, uh, if you're getting in now, it's a second day movement because the breakout was mostly yesterday. Uh, today, the best bet, I think, it's definitely BCE. That stock is definitely the one that you should favor if you want to get some exposure to the uh, telecom sector because that stock is today, it's in a clear uh, breakout. And there's also BCE on New York, which is also reversing its downward trend. So this is the list, folks. For the financial sector, we have some banks, TD, Royal Bank, and CIBC. You have on New York and on the TSX. On the telecom sector, there's Talus, but it's a se second-day movement. And there's BCE, uh, which is today uh, starting a clear breakout that you could acquire. But overall, overall, when you take a look at the situation of the market, we don't have much room to go on the SPY 
before we reach that target at 167.07. That's where we expect a pause. So we think that it's not a moment to be in a buying spree. It's definitely a moment to hold on to most of your positions. I'm just showing you the financial and the telecom sector simply because the financial sector, they're paying hefty dividends, and I think it's a good opportunity for those of you who are dividend savvy. That said, see you next week for your market report. This was Christian Charlo from Guru.tv that you can have access for free for 10 days just by clicking at the link below.